Hey! What? You think you're a bad enough dude for the new Dying Fetus album? Yeah, I think so. I don't think so. Not with these pre-order packages. Dying Fetus Pillow Package. Only $29.95 with separate installments. Suffocate animals intelligently. Get them in the down. Dying Fetus Chainsaw Limited Edition Package. $69.69. Eviscerate those bushes only a bad mamma jamma would. Right on. Alright, so wrong one to fuck with is Dying Fetus's eighth full length that comes right after their uh, 2012 effort, Reign Supreme, which was a pretty solid effort. I feel like it really uh, cemented their status uh, within not only the grindcore scene, but also uh, within the uh, tech death scene as well. I feel like they started to finally incorporate those tech death elements into their signature grooves that they patented all those years ago, way back in the early 90s, and uh, they found a way to make themselves sound more modern in the process. Uh, it really does make them a more interesting band. So now, here we are, uh, just a whole lot of uh, fairly decent singles, not mind-blowing or anything like that, but how does the full length pan out? Well, we're going to get right into it. So starting with the shittiest parts of this album, my number one complaint is the same complaint I've always had with Dying Fetus, and that the vocals are so monotonous for a band that's so technical, so all over the place, yeah. so many time signature changes. Now I'm not expecting something like Psychroptic's early work, where Chalky was as spastic as the guitar. Right. That's a little over the top, and as much as I love him, I don't expect every band ever to be all over the place vocally like that. But John Gallagher, while he's an amazing guitarist, oh, yeah. takes the same vocal tone throughout every single song and every single album. I feel like if he could vary it up a bit, it would do the music wonders. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Look at a band like Benighted who plays a fairly similar uh, strain of Brutal Death and Grindcore, minus a lot of the technical aspects, of course, and the way that he varies it up to change the tone of his songs. A lot of their stuff is story-based, uh, and a lot of this is very like politically oriented and things like that. But there'd be a lot more emotion, a lot more to emote, uh, if he could just change his delivery up every once in a while. And yeah, it really does uh, drain some of the content here of any emotional resonance. One of the other main complaints that I had about the CD um, is that it really has a, a whole lot of punch taken out of the guitars, drums, the vocals. Every aspect is completely robbed of all of its intensity because of a production job that is way too modern sounding. Uh, it, it's very clean, it's very plasticky, it's precise, uh, and you can definitely hear a lot of the different aspects, but the vocals are overly processed, the drums are so clicky and so mechanized sounding. Nothing here really sounds raw and, and just uh, overtly aggressive. Uh, I, I know that Dying Fetus is definitely a live band. A lot of people say that their live show is one of the best there is as far as like grindcore aspects. It's true. The yeah. one time I saw them live, that's definitely top five death metal bands I've ever seen. So exactly. That's true. Now, I'm not saying that they need to take a completely live approach like maybe Iron Maiden has done in the last couple albums where everything is just out there. And there it is. Let's just get it out there and get, and get everything sorted. I'm just saying that something a little bit more thoughtful would have definitely helped here. The last CD, Reign Supreme, had what, in my opinion and Eric's opinion, was a pretty perfect uh, production job. Uh, it wasn't too clean, it had a lot of grit to it, uh, but it also packed a lot of punch. You could hear everything, everything was very audible. Um, this one just doesn't seem to have the same aspects of clarity. So. One last snafu the album has is it's, it's the longest album to date, and I feel like it hurts the album a bit. Towards the end, every single time I listened to it, I felt like it just, you know, I had heard enough. It's, it's, right. not, it's not a bad album at all, don't get me wrong, but for this style of music, it needs to 
the album needs to be shorter, more concise, or more variation. The album follows basically the same path throughout the entire thing. You have your sweeps mixed in with your groove parts, mixed in with the exact same vocal pitch and line in every single song. And I just feel like there's really no differentiation between any of the songs other than here and there, like the bonus track, the cover is definitely different from all the others, but I'm not really counting that being a bonus track. But I just feel like that hurts the album. It's 50-some minutes long, by far their longest album, oh, yeah. and they just they probably should keep it shorter. It would benefit them in the long run. Oh, definitely. Yeah, nothing here is really all that bad. It's just the fact that it runs on for so long that you start to hear all the same ideas and concepts a hundredfold, and by the end of the album, you just don't want to hear any of that anymore. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I've had enough of a dying fetus time. Even though we've complained a little bit here and there about the album, um, really it is a very good album and it has quite a few positives here. Uh, although you, we can really sum it up in, in a short amount of time here. Uh, first and foremost, there is an excellent amount of broobs on this album and I know this is, this is triggering the occult here because uh, you know, you, you've seen the marketing for this album, the, the stupid butcher knife and You've seen a lot of the, uh, the the concepts behind it. You've seen the title of the fucking album. I mean, come on now. Yeah, when I heard the title of the album, I was a little bit suspicious. I was like, what are they going full brocore? You know, know, what I are was, they doing? Are they gonna, I was not they gonna lose the technical edge? But fortunately, there's really a lot of the technical aspect, but it's in integrated so well into these really hard-hitting grooves. There's so much groove on this album that I really didn't think I was going to get out of it. It actually served as a complete surprise, as opposed to Reign Supreme, which I felt like leaned a little bit harder on the technical aspects. This one finds a good middle ground between that and this, and really does a good job balancing on almost every single song on here. Yeah, I really don't have anything to add to that. That sums it up completely. It's just a mixture of the, the two different styles that they play with into a very even product. So with the album being so long and following the same path throughout, going between the grooves and the tech parts, there aren't a lot of standouts. But I feel like track number eight, Fallacy, is a really good one with its gravity blasting interspersed with the groove parts. And the bonus track, I think, is pretty good because John Gallagher takes some some risk with his vocals and it I feel like it pays off. I wish he would do that throughout the actual album. It would make it more interesting and dynamic to me. Yeah, definitely. So overall, uh, really just another Dying Fetus album. Dying Fetus is dying fetusing all over this record from front to back. Uh, maybe a little bit too much. Please, for fuck's sake, find some editing time. <laughs> just condense all this down. But really, uh, not, not a whole lot of terrible things to say here. Can't shit on this one. I'd love to shit on this one. I, Lord knows, I love shitting on things. But I can't shit too much on this. I think it's, it's pretty decent overall. It's solid. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, overall, Eric, what would, you, what would you give Wrong One to Fuck with? I think I'd give it a 7. If it was a little shorter and more concise and they fixed the vocals, which I, I'm aware they never will. It's been the same way throughout the entire career. I would rate it higher, but it's it's a pretty solid mixture of all the sounds they've come up with so far, so seven sums it up for me. Yeah, I give it a seven. Um, I definitely like it a little bit less than Destroy the Opposition and Reign Supreme, mm -hmm. uh, but it does have a number of highlights, just like Eric was saying, um, and it's definitely of a, a pretty high standard all across the way. Um, so yeah, sevens, sevens, seven. Sevens all so, around. So uh, cool beans. Uh, yep. Thanks for watching, as always, and... Um,